Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you how to check the Wi Fi data usage on your computer. So, there might be a couple of reasons you want to check it to see if there's anything unusual happening with your internet connection, like you could have your computer compromised and it's being used as a robot on a botnet that was created by a hacker and your computer could be involved in a series of attacks against some corporation and you'll be able to maybe get a hint of that by looking at this it also could be maybe you just want to see how much data you're using to see if you can get away with working from your phone as a hotspot so let's see how to get there you want to click on your start button and go into settings from here you want to go into network and internet at the bottom of the list here, you should see advanced network settings. If we go in there, at the bottom of this pretty well, you'll see data usage. So we'll click on that. It may take a few moments to generate this report, but you'll see here what is being used. It gives you the total amount used in the last 30 days by default. And you can change which connection it is so by default it's showing you the connection you're using in my case it's Wi-Fi you could click in there to see the drop down menu and it will give you the list of the other connections like I've got two other Ethernet connections and you could switch between them and it'll give you information there in my case I'm not using these other Ethernet connections so either one they're both going to come up blank like this so on the wireless, we can also change the uh, limit if we want to uh, have a data limit on here. So then it can give you a warning if it's a monthly or one time, daily, weekly, monthly, one time or unlimited usage. And you'll have your daily limit in megabytes or gigabytes. But I'm not setting a limit on this because I have unlimited usage. You can also filter by the last 30 days as well as seven days or 24 hours. And the default is 30 days. So from here we can see from the largest to the smallest of what's being used in that time frame. So out of the 89 gigs almost in the last 30 days, 56 approximately was being used just from Google Chrome alone. And for me, that makes sense because I do a lot of streaming through there. But um, the Firefox browser, I know that that's used for other specific things that would not be using as much data. The system could be anything related to the system. So that may be hard to pinpoint any specific thing. And then you've got your other products that are installed on the computer. And depending how much you're using them, they're going to show up as well. And you can scroll through the list to see the different things that you're using and see how much data is being used there. So if I was to look at this, for example, and I'm traveling, I would say 89 gigs approximately in the last 30 days, less 56 gigs in Google Chrome. If I don't really care to use that and I'm working from the road, uh, for a month, let's say I'm traveling, then I'm not going to be wasting bandwidth by streaming YouTube videos, having music play in the background and that. So we'll round it and say 89 gigs minus 56. That's 33 gigs that I would be using for everything else, not counting the streaming music. So if I went working like normal, on the road using my phone as a hotspot then as long as my data plan covers me for the 33 gigs even if it's only the 30 gigs I'm not going over by that much but I could cut back a bit because I'm on vacation I shouldn't be working that much anyway to begin with so I can really see how much is used and how much I may need to use on my phone so Maybe you're trying to figure that out like I was to see about traveling or maybe you want to find out uh, usage for yourself, your employees, your kids, or just to see if there's some unusual activity that's using uh, higher than normal usage on the internet. So 
that's how you can get in there and find that out. So I hope you found this helpful and you can find some different uses for it. If you did find it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.